Every morning, every morning, every morning, the President of the United States is given a daily briefing. With the Google Pixel, you can also get one. Okay, Google. Daily briefing. Good morning, Liren. The time is 9.27 a.m. The weather in Dallas currently is 70 degrees and mostly cloudy with a high of 85 degrees. Today at 10 a.m., you have important meeting with Mark. Have a wonderful day. The best way I can describe the Google Pixel, it's like being able to hold and touch the Google search engine. And just like the search engine is simple and works superbly well, so does this phone. Some people are hating on the design. They think Google has gone too safe with the way they've approached this phone. I think on the contrary, I think the fact that it does look so familiar, it does look like something that you would just pick up and be able to use is actually a good thing. The fact it's got a headphone jack is even better. The fact that it's a big deal to have a headphone jack is still a bit weird to me. To unlock your phone, your finger scanner is actually at the back. It's nice and flush with the back cover so it doesn't stick out. And a simple tap and it unlocks your phone. What's also cool is that you can use your finger scanner as a way to swipe through notification. You can swipe it up and down and it actually controls your notification screen. That's quite smart and actually very, very useful too. The one thing about this phone is that it's superbly fast. Everything is just smooth and just operates instantly comes to life. Scroll up and down, find your app that you want and simply tap on it. Right, let's get to the big stuff. This is the camera and the camera is supposed to be one of the best in the market and I can tell you by the videos I've shot, I can say that it really, really is superb. It's a 12.3 megapixel camera and the way that it handles itself, it comes on with HDR plus, so it automatically gives you those colors and it's got specific software and specific modes like slow motion, panorama, image blur, etc. And you can play with all of those by touches of the button. And again, everything's very intuitive. That's the one thing about this camera. It's fast and intuitive. You press the button and you can just do stuff. You don't have to read manuals. You don't have to look at YouTube clips of how to do it, unless you're looking at this one. And you pretty much just get on with the job of actually enjoying the phone and enjoying the camera and enjoying what it's supposed to do. We're all shooting more and more videos and you'll see the stabilization on the video is superb. When it's turned on versus off, you can noticeably see the difference. And this is really, really a superb feature, 4K resolution too. Let's talk about the Google Assistant, which is Google's AI bot, which understands the way that you speak and understands the context and the environment and even works in very, very loud background noises. Okay, Google. What movies is showing tonight? Here are the movies playing near Richardson tonight. So it understood my location, understood the way that I asked the question, understood what I wanted. But it's not always perfect. More info about the accountant. Here's the top search result. So in this case, it did understand that accountant was the name of the movie. It just gave me a definition. Okay, Google. Where am I? Here is a map of 2616-2618 West Prairie Creek Drive, Richardson. What's the closest restaurant? Let's find you something to eat. I found a few places within 0 0.9 miles. Take me there. Alright, Marcus Cafe, let's go. That was quite complicated. It needed to understand my location, my requirement, translate it into a web query, bring me back the results, and when I said take me there, it understood that it was the previous conversation. And as you can see, it looks like an instant message conversation, so it feels again very, very personal. Nicely done. It's not perfect, but it's really, really good. Right, so that's my review, initial review, I should say, of the Google Pixel. Now, I say initial review because I've only had it for 25 hours or so, and during those 25 hours, I've been intensely on that device. I haven't enjoyed an Android phone like this in quite a while. Google has done an absolutely superb job. Two thumbs up to Google for that. Um, a couple of things to note. One, 
it's not waterproof or water resistant so at the end of the day you cannot shower with it you can't get it wet just treat it like a normal regular phone today's trends is going towards very much ipx rating of the phones making it water resistant this is not one of them so keep it dry number two if you're into manual manipulation of your photography, you want ISO and white balance and all that other good stuff, this is not gonna be your phone for you. It cannot do it. It takes superb photos without manipulation. For 90% of the people, they'll be great point and shoot kind of stuff. But if you do want that manual manipulation, it doesn't have those features. So just be aware of that. Um, the third thing is that the battery life. The battery life is great. At the end of the day, we still have quite a lot of juice left. That was quite impressive. Some good Google magic going on through that. Now, the fourth thing is um, I'm on the Verizon network in the US. The Google Pixel is available exclusively from Verizon. And the Verizon network has got this great LTE amazing network. And I've just managed to upload everything straight from wherever I happen to be into the Google storage. If you get this phone, you get free Google storage for your photos um, in high resolutions too. So I took full advantage of that and using the Verizon LTE network, push the button and my videos will effectively stored into the cloud. All my photography is there, so I don't have to worry about storage space on the device. So that's also quite a, quite a good thing. Many more features are available in this phone. Just um, maybe some more videos will come into the future. Uh -huh, intent, especially virtual reality. Those goggles are going to be quite cool. So I'll bring you that as soon as I get my hands on those. If you're new to this channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button somewhere on the screen. Just hit the thumbs up. Leave some comments below. See what you'd like to see on this channel. And otherwise, we'll see you at the next episode of Talking Tech with the Techie Guy. Thanks for tuning in.